In the previous two videos, I demonstrated how to write code for the default and additional events of a Delphi object. We have done some programming, but I asked you not to worry too much if the code that you've written doesn't make total sense to you yet. In this video, we will look at those statements again and I will try to unpack the different concepts for you. All the code that we've typed in the previous exercise is programming statements that change properties in code. But let's start with a quick look at properties again. On the left side of your Delphi IDE, you find the Object Inspector. In the Object Inspector is a Properties tab and an Events tab. The Properties tab allows a programmer to set properties for an object while designing his or her program. We refer to this process as changing properties in design time. Some of the properties that you can change in the Object Inspector are the dimensions of an object. That is the size. The height and the width properties are examples of dimensional properties. Then, we also have some properties that can be used to position an object on a form or in a panel. Examples of positional properties are top and left. We also have properties that can determine the look and feel of a graphical user interface. That can be properties like color, caption, text, font, visible and enabled. Let me just repeat this. The properties that we change in the Object Inspector are only available to programmers while they are busy designing the application. The user can't change things like colors, captions, positions and so on, because the user doesn't have Delphi installed. To enable a user to make these changes, a programmer must program the changes in an event handler, and the user must invoke an event linked to that event handler. When changing properties in the Object Inspector, we refer to it as property changes in design time. In the lessons about events and event handlers, we programmed a few instructions or statements in event handlers. This is one of the lines of code that we typed. You learned that this statement changes the width property of a button called btn display to 90. We programmed this line of code in an event handler. In other words, we didn't do it in the object inspector as a design time change. This statement changes the left property of btn display to 5. We also programmed this line of code in an event handler. So, we also didn't change it in the object inspector as a design time change. And this statement changes the caption property of BT in display to the phrase click to display. This was also done in an event handler and not in the object inspector. So, it was not a design time change. All three of these statements will only change the button's properties when the program is running and when the user invokes the event linked to the event handler. When properties are changed by a user while the program is running, we refer to it as property changes in runtime. Now, let's analyze these property changes in runtime. In order to program property changes, your statement must always start with the name of the object that will be changed. In all three of these statements, it is the object named btn display. The object name is then followed by a dot. Any of the attributes or behaviors of the object must follow the dot. You will learn more about behaviors or methods in another video. The attributes of an object are the properties that belong to that object. In our examples, we are changing a few properties like the width of the button, the left property and the caption property. The next two characters are colon and equal signs. These two characters are actually seen by the Delphi compiler as one operator. It is used to assign a value. In all our examples, we have the assignment operator to assign values to the properties. After the assignment operator, we type an appropriate value. For the width and left property, we assign numbers because they are measurements. And for the caption property, we assign a word or a phrase. Finally, we must end all our instructions or statements with a semicolon. In Delphi, a statement can be typed on multiple lines, but Delphi must know when you are done with an instruction. The compiler uses the semicolon to determine when a statement terminates. Now, let's look at this again. You must understand which values you are allowed to assign to the specific properties. So, let's discuss the value property in more detail. Some properties, like the width and left properties, only take whole numbers. We refer to these numbers as integers. In this example, we assign the value 90 to the width property of btn display. An integer property can also get a value from a result of an expression, like a calculation. 
In this example, we assign the value 90 plus 10 to the width property. The result is a value of 100. Some properties are assigned alphabetical character values. An example is the caption property. We refer to these values as strings. The string value is enclosed in inverted commas. This statement assigns the value word to the caption property of the button. String properties can also get their values from the result of an expression, like joining two separate strings. In this example, we use the plus sign to join the value to with the value words. When joining a string, we refer to it as concatenation, and the plus sign is called a concatenation operator. The result that will be assigned to the caption property is two words, without the space between them. To allow a space between the words, you must also make a space before closing the first word with an inverted comma. A space is therefore also a string character. The result will then be two words, now with a space separating the values. Another property that we set often is the visible property. Visible can only be set to true or false. This setting will make the button visible or invisible to the user. We refer to these types of values as Boolean values. This statement makes the visible property of the button true, and this statement makes the button invisible to the user. There are some other properties that are set to predefined constant values, like setting the style property. These predefined constants normally have a prefix like BS for button style. In this example, the style property is set to BS push button which is the default style of a button. This example changes the style property of the button to BS split button. Sometimes beginner programmers find it difficult to read programming statements. However, I'm going to show you an easy way to read these statements. Follow what I'm saying and practice it with me. The easiest way to understand these statements is to read them from the back. Read it like this. Take the value 90 and assign it to the width property of BTN display. Now let's try it with this statement. Take the value 5 and assign it to the left property of BTN display. Ok, one more time with this statement. Take the value, click to display and assign it to the caption property of BTN display. And that's how easy it is to read and write statements that change properties in runtime. In the next video, we will explore more nifty code features. I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of Delphi's design time code features that provide shortcuts and autocomplete capabilities. This enables programmers to program much faster and with fewer errors. I'll talk to you again in the next video.